Hey guys, this is Andrea from Indian Wonderland How to Experience the NDIS. So, I'm filming this one after the funeral of Queen Elizabeth II. And I just want to do a bit of a follow up on talking to people with an intellectual disability about death. Um, this would have been a great opportunity to talk to them about death and different types of cultures so we're seeing what we're seeing with that it's essentially a family grieving but it's just like I'll leave others to talk about the politics that I'm not versed in but that grieving we're seeing also eras and eras of history on display as well so that one is quite an interesting one to see how people have come together in grief and mourning for the British royal family. And it just got me thinking of how to support people with an intellectual disability talking about death and their appropriate life stages. Um, in reaching out to a few other people talking to them about death at their level having some kids books I know that one of our local funeral homes around Christmas does a Thanksgiving service for the lives for the people that they have had services for during that year and that it's free to go and that's the other thing given that we're coming into some coming into Christmas because in Australia All Saints Day is not really celebrated in the traditional manner so that's a really interesting one so just as a recap talking to them at their level and not ignoring it not using metaphors but being kind with them and letting them ask questions letting them go to the funeral or if they will be disruptive doing something privately with them uh, especially if it's a family member explain to them that things will change that they will be looked after as well which is a big concern for people with an intellectual disability who will look after them when mum dad or whoever is their primary carer is gone as well and we are also now starting to see a deinstitutionalization of people with disabilities and so the other thing is if you don't have the skills yourself looking at who does have the skills and reaching out to them i know caitlin doherty ask a mortician has got some really good videos on this you could show them those there's some kids books if they've had a, a pet die as well and reassure them that their death is not something contagious that unless they have something a terminal illness that they're not going to die uh -uh, as well so this is just a couple of thoughts on that one given that it's been all over the news uh, as well and the other one is giving them time to grieve yes keeping them occupied but giving them time to grieve as well um, when I say keeping them occupied I don't mean at their level so with keeping them to a routine as well um, understanding that if the person is limited in their communication skills so that might be non-verbal user communication app or some assisted sign language and the other thing is remembering that behavior in people with a disability it's a form of communication 
also using the acronym HALT as well, which is a really good one. So, are they hungry? Do you need to adjust your attitude? The timing? And have they had enough liquid as well? Um, there's some other methodologies down below uh, that I'll link down below. And also there's a few really exciting collabs coming. I shout out to uh, a few people who are behind the scenes of Shadowhunters who are making some pod, um, blog posts happen. It's funny, never say never. I thought this would be the last of the Dawn Shadowhunters content, but lo and behold I had a few people reach out to me. Um, but guys, still looking for some traditional work to get me out of the house and sustain me. So guys, if you can, would love for you to check out my Patreon. Guys, um, and as you can hear, I've got a bit of sinus. Um, I, it's currently spring in Australia and I live in a city that celebrates the Carnival of Flowers. I posted some pictures of the park on my Facebook. So guys, you can follow me on Facebook at Little Annie. On Instagram, I'm Annie in Wonderland. Of course, on the YouTube and my main venture, the blog, which is Annie in Wonderland at blogspot.com. Guys, I'm pretty slack about putting things in the description below, but I will see you guys in the next video. Please like, share, subscribe. Um, remember that death does come for us all. It's not something to be feared. But if you are going through a rough time in your life, it's not the best option. Things will get better as well. This is also something that we need to talk about. Um, I will be doing a video in a couple of months about mental health and people in people with a disability because there are some mental health conditions that can be quite disabling as well so I'll do a deep dive into psychosocial disabilities and the NDIS can help as well and the role of community um, guys thank you for listening see you guys in the next video